What is up guys, you got not the worst here, bringing you another Black Desert online video. And before we jump into that, I did just want to show you guys a little something if you weren't already aware of this. Uh, this is MMOtimer.com. It's got a uh, Bell and World Boss Timer uh, sort of website that works for BDO. Um, it'll support all regions, NA, EU, or anything else. So definitely check it out. Uh, keep track of those things for you if you're interested in that. All right, so today we are taking a look at our stars and silver breakdown 20 hour grind video thing um, so let's take a look at drops if you want to see the skill rotation that i used for this uh, that was in a previous video um, i wanted to split them up just because the uh, polls here would be a little bit lengthy if i jammed them all into one video so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below to check out that video so aside from that here's star's end uh, we ran it with a level 10 node um, through about the last six or seven hours or so. Uh, I think we started with maybe level four or five and slowly worked it up over there uh, throughout the couple weeks that I was uh, grinding in the area. It is just west of Calpheon, you can see over there. So that's kind of where the zone is at. Let's pull up the item drop sheet and take a look at what kind of drops we're looking at before we check out the spreadsheet to see how we did. So here's what drops. Obviously the golden, the golden boy here, the black distortion earring, these things max price sell at 342. 342 million each, which is where they have been sitting uh, for the entirety that I grinded this. They're still there right this second. Of course, we got black stones. Um, we got some black magic crystals, the massive pure magic, which is used in enhancing your uh, black star weapon. I did not assign this a value, uh, but I did keep track of when how often they dropped, uh, but I didn't put an actual value in the grind per hour, although you can argue that they do have some value since they are required to enhance a Black Star weapon. You can get Spirit Dust here, but you can't get Raw Caphras, which was kind of interesting. And then the Trace of Origin is the other item. The one I skipped over there was the Clear Black Star Crystal. This is used alongside with a Critical Hit Crystal and Three Forest Fury to make the Corrupted Magic Crystal, um, which looks like this guy here. right here so the price for these uh since i finished this you can see they've come down drastically recently when i finished this they had taken a little bit of a dip um and we're at about 75 mil or so right around here they have continuously just plunged and plunged and plunged either more people are now able to do stars in or more people are spending some time doing stars in whereas they weren't previously uh, whatever the case may be they continue to go down but they were sitting pretty heavily at 75 mil or even higher uh, just before that so that'll have some amount of variance to your overall profit per hour based on whatever they're selling at the time and of course your server um, is going to dictate that as well that's for na uh, so i had level 10 node i did use comma blessing for the entirety of this i do have tier 4 pets but that's not super relevant at this spot because of how you clear them which again you can check out in that other video um, at all times so with that said let me get the grind sheet pulled up and let's see how we performed here um, you can see we overall did 137. Let's blow this up just a little bit for you. 137 mil per hour was our average, but this spot wasn't, I found was, a, although came out about the same to what the Elton rotation in history did, as far as your overall average, the drop was a lot more swingy than history. And what I mean by that is I found history to be a bit more consistent. So first thing I want to talk about, let's look at the trash loot. Obviously I had to kind of learn a rotation and get it down before it got anywhere good. So I peaked around 3,300. My lowest was probably 25, yeah, in the 2,500s when I was kind of still getting the rotation or figuring out my pulls properly across that. Uh, I know for a fact um, I was, I'm 267 main hand, 269 awakening and 316 DP with using Kudum. I use frenzy draft alongside those as well. Um, I know for a fact, a guy with similar gear to me, he's actually 269, 269 uh, with Kudum and he was doing 3,700 at peak, but his average came out to like 3,500. Um, yeah, so me peaking at 33 and him at 37, it's obviously some more fine tuning that could be done from it, uh, you know, from there, or I also had get 60 frames per second capped. So it could be, he's got a few more frames that he's able to pull off more damage. At any rate, we've got across the board here, um, our BMC drop was 6.3. Uh, per hour was the average, which is a lot. This was with loot scroll. Keep in mind, um, all, most of the silver grind videos I don't do loot scroll. This one in Histria were with loot scroll, so these are obviously going to be inflated quite a bit, including the trash loot as well. Um, the, I, we saw about one every four hours, actually exactly one every four um, hours for uh, the massive tree magic uh, trace. We got 16.8, eight, about eight, a little less than nine per hour. Um, for the uh, the dusts there and then we got right around 60 black stones which was pretty nice this place in general likes to drop a lot of black stones i think one hour we had over 70 drop yeah and the, the lowest was maybe 50 or somewhere uh, 40 ish looks 46 right around there so that wasn't too bad um we got a little less than one per hour uh, 
and not all the way across the board on these corrupted crystals they were kind of just here and then they weren't they get they get dropped they're not super super ultra rare they do drop and that might be why we're starting to see this price decrease people have gotten the crystal already so the newness has worn out and they don't drop super infrequently so with people grinding it you know you're going to see them drop as far as uh, distortion ears i got a total of two in the 20 hours and if you ask me that might be a little bit um a little bit on the upside i think it's probably more like an average of one in 15 hours or something along those lines i'm using i'm basing that just on what uh guildmates and stuff have said for how often they've been there and what they drop uh, as far as actual hours obviously the early hours you got to cut a little slack as out the trash power is much lower um, still kind of learning the rotation but you can see it bottomed out around 60 mil ish again these being in early stage hours later on it was more like yeah 70s 70 or so mil with a decent trash per hour loot and then obviously any hour that you have um, your earrings drop it's going to be extremely high well over 400 417 mil with this one and then my highest hour was with an earring drop and a corrupt crystal drop uh, added as well and then the trash and everything else came up to almost 490 mil in one hour obviously getting that earring is winning the lotto you've made your uh, silver goal for the day in one single hour that 342 mil plus whatever your trash that you're going to walk away with 400 mil pretty easily uh, in an hour at star's end using a loot scroll there so that gives you a total amount there 137 average um, just to give that reference the elton rotation which was the previous video we did came out to i think 137 139 so almost right on it uh if i had the rotation down a little bit better or actually the rotation i was using wasn't um perfect when i first started it or and it's probably still not if that got a little bit better this would out edge the elton rotation for history just a little bit uh but overall it's still a great spot to grind as far as recommendations for ap um, I would say you need to be around 261 with a Kudum in that ballpark. I'm sure people are going to say I can do it at this AP and I'm lower, whatever, whatever. I'm sure you can. I'm saying somewhere around 261 Kudum. Uh, more importantly, uh, this place does need some amount of paying attention. It's not really a mindless grind. It's not super difficult, but if you're not paying attention and you're not moving around the mobs and making sure you're, you're maximizing your hits and your movement, you can get dead very, very quickly. Uh, some of the mobs just have these crazy heavy damage hits, and if two or three of them do it at the same time, you're not paying attention. Uh, you'll probably die. I didn't in that time. I do have some Kafiris in my armor, which is why I get up to 316 with uh, with Kudum. I would recommend there's no reason at this point in the development of the game and how, where it's headed now, there's no reason to not have even more DP than that moving forward, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. If you're below that sort of thing, I mean, you could try it at soft cap DP, and I'm sure you can do it. You just need to pay a lot more attention. Make sure you're potting constantly, and you'll probably just burn up potions um, as you're running through that. Again, that's one of the reasons I like to use the Frenzy Draft. Drops your DP just a little bit, uh, but getting that HP return on it just makes your potion life so much easier. So that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, how you're doing at Star's End, uh, and what you think of your the trash that you're getting compared to what I turned up with i'd be interested to see that if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos at least 20 hour grind series uh, news updates always going out patch note recaps and all sorts of other thing uh gear updates i have a gear update video coming out pretty soon in the next few days here and if you want to check us out live there is a link in the description below to the twitch page you can head on over there and drop a follow so you get a notification whenever we go live i believe our next stream we are going to be doing some enhancing for profit uh or hopefully for profit i should say so that should be a fun one to check out if you want to catch that with that said that's going to be it be it for this video i want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time Baby.